After unboxing and mounting your BenQ board, you are now ready to start it up for the first time. Here is what to look for. First, let's get to know where all the ports are. On the front, you have all the ports teachers need like USB-C, HDMI, USB touch, USB-A, and microphone in. On the back of the panel, on the left side, you will find more USB-C, USB-A, touch USB, and HDMI ports, as well as an earphone jack, an HDMI out port, and a slot in PC port. A little lower behind the protective cover, you'll find two USB-A ports, one used by the Wi-Fi adapter and the other for the remote control receiver. Now, at the bottom are one more USB-A, a SPDIF, RS-232, Ethernet, VGA, audio N, and DisplayPort ports. That's it for the connectivity. Now let's move on to starting up the BenQ Board Pro RPO4. On the first screen, you can select your desired language and accessibility features, including larger text or text-to-speech. Tap Start to continue. While you can set up the board offline, you won't be able to fully enroll the board to the BenQ management ecosystem when not online. If using a wired connection, the installation will automatically proceed to the next screen. If using Wi-Fi, first select the network you want to connect to and then continue. You will then be asked if you want to transfer apps and data from other devices. Simply tap Don't Copy. And on the next screen, skip the Google sign. -in. Here you can select different Google services, tap more, and then accept to go to the next screen. Skip the pin setting. Now you can review the BenQ end user license agreement and privacy policy before continuing. This screen is very important as it enables all BenQ services on the BenQ board. If you don't enable them now, you'll have to do a factory reset of your BenQ board to enable them later. Just tap the toggle switch to enable BenQ services, and then tap Next to continue. The BenQ board will now restart. After the restart, you will be asked to activate our account management service. Simply tap Next. To proceed to the next step, you will need to enter the local admin password. By default, both the username and password is admin. You can change the password in the next window and we strongly recommend to do so for security reasons. Enter your new password and tap send. Now you can either use an NFC card, scan the QR code with your phone, or enter your credentials to bind the BenQ board to AMS. By doing this, you will also automatically bind the board to DMS, our device management solution, if you hadn't done so before. Now that your board is fully enrolled, all authorized users will be able to log in with their credentials and IT admins will be able to manage the board remotely. That's it for starting up the EDLA BenQ Board Pro. If you want to learn more about the BenQ Board, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.